That made me jump. G'day, I'm Scuzz. Welcome back to Project Zomboid. This is David number two. Ranger Dave, part two. <laughs> All right, so I had, I had to restart because the other Dave died. Um, all right, so, but I just noticed here, looks like we keep our map. I wonder if it's the same house we started in last time. Don't know. Don't know, doors are open, there's a toothbrush. There's a corpse in here already. I reckon we started in this place. It looks very familiar. Row. This is one of the houses. No, we didn't start in this one, but we... Ah, uh, yeah, there was a car there. So look, one thing I've just noticed then is it looks like we keep our map um, from the last guy. So that is a bonus. Uh, I didn't know that was going to be the case. I don't know if that's intentional or if that's a bug. But um, we've got our, our old map. So we, we started here last time. Looks like we started in this house this time. And I think I remember marking this one because uh, it had a potential car out the front um i did give this guy a backpack uh just so that we'd have a bit more of a head start i don't have to hunt around a backpack but it means we should have a house here that's got a bunch of stuff in it so um we're not far from there uh only problem is i don't have any weapons so and it is the middle of the night so i am gonna head straight over to that house uh and see what we've got in there because there's there should be something that I can pick up as a weapon. I don't know what's going to be around the way of zombies. Um, and I do need some basic food and stuff like that. Oh my god. Why did I choose to go the back way? Why did I choose to go the back way? <laughs> right, so we're going to have to find another car. Uh, just so we can get back to where we are. There was a couple of cars here, uh, but we didn't have any keys and we didn't have any fuel. So, right, so this is our old house. All right, so, yeah, there's some guns and stuff on the floor here. Uh, yeah, there's a bunch of stuff in there. Let's have a look. What have we got weapon-wise? Oh, we don't need any of that stuff at the moment. Right, we do want to put a watch on. Alright, we do need... Well, we're going to grab one of these. We're going to grab a torch, because we're going to need that. Uh, we're going to wear these gloves. Do we have a weapon? Yes, we do. Here we go. We've got a pipe wrench. Um, we will grab a screwdriver. And I will attach this to belt right. So we've got a couple of weapons there. I don't think we've got anything for our back, though, do we? No. 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 Alright, we got any band-aids or anything in here? No, because we're going to need some band-aids as well. Alright, so we should have a couple of water bottles. Yep, we'll grab that one there. That's going to be our main water bottle there. Uh, what do we got in the way of food that we can carry around with us? Uh, let's grab a couple of cans of sardines. And that will probably do for now. Yeah. All right, he doesn't need much at the moment, so we're going to have to go explore. All right, so we've got some basics. Um, I just need some band-aids. Now, we have... I didn't put anything in here, did I? Here we go. Here we go. All right, so no band-aids. Haven't got any band-aids. Okay, that's a little bit of an issue. Uh, what do we got in here that we can rip up? Army pants. See some ranger pants here. Yeah, let's rip these ones up. Actually, instead of damaging those... Let's just get rid of this guy's pants here. 
Rip all these clothing. We need some basic supplies, but this band aids are going to be the basic ones. And it's it's night time, so it's the middle of the night, so we don't really want to do too much at night time. And we've got to get back on track to where we were. It's a shame. Uh, this is Project Zomboid. This happens. Stuff like this happens. And the good thing is, you can continue. You can just keep going. You can absolutely keep going. And um, we should have some water in there. Yep. All right, so we're going to turn this on. Heat this water up, and then we're going to sterilize these rags. So first things first, let's clean. Don't tell me the water switched off. Uh, clean all these rags. It's going to be more than enough band-aids. All right, and then what we want to do, when this is boiling, which is red, you can go here and you can disinfect all your rags. All right, easy way to get sterilized band-aids, which are just great. They will stop you from getting infections. All right. Right, I probably showed you a few episodes ago, but it's it's time for a refresher on some of the basics. <laughs> I know there's a lot of new people playing the game at the moment that are following my series. Um, yeah. Yeah. So, I do need to go over the basics sometimes. Um, just a run from. Just a run from. Alright, we're going to turn this off. Done. All right, so we've got those band-aids. We can chuck those in there. Oh, we did have some adhesive ones, but no, nah, we wanted we wanted proper ones. We're going to chuck that in there. All right, don't think there's anything else we need on us right now. No, all right. Um, what do we have here in the way of weapons anyway? Uh, nothing exciting. All right. All right. What we're going to do is we're just going to rest for a couple of hours just to get the sun out. And I'm just going to set the alarm. I don't know if that's going to let me sleep. No, all right. I won't bother. We're just going to go out and explore. Let's get the flashlight out. Right, so... According to our map, we've been in a lot of these houses around here. On the other side of this park, there will be some houses that we want to have a look at. I'm going to turn the light off for now because there's lights here. But we're going to just speed this up a bit. Alright, there will be... Turn your flashlight on your doofus. There will be some zombies around, like that, hiding in frickin' trees. It's rude, mate. Just rude. Just rude. Alright. So we're just gonna out for a night time. There's another one. We've got any more? Oh. Alright, yep, yep, there's another one. Like rodents. Grab that watch. Yeah. Alright, so the reason I grabbed the watches is for leveling up the electronic skill. Alright. Because you need level 2 electronics and level 1 mechanics to hotwire vehicles. So that's the reason why you want to get your electronic skill up. Turn that torch off again. Um, garbage bags, we want to hang on to those for um, rain collectors, even though it's not 100% necessary anymore. You can grab some of the drums that are, um, oh, here we go, the sun's come out, I think. Can we get into this car? Going on here. It's locked. Back. Got some logs in it. This door unlocked. It's parked at a weird angle. I can't access the doors. No, it's locked. Parked at a weird angle. Alright, so we're going to have a look in this house here. I think the sun's starting to come out. 
Um, all right, let's put the torch away for now. That's flat anyway. All right, we need a battery for that. Nothing in these letter boxes. No. I always take the watches. All right, and the big thing is trying to find car as well. But we, we still, we need something, um, we still need some basic supplies. Like I would like to get a baseball bat or a crowbar or something to whack on my back. Um, has this shed got a window? No, it doesn't. What does it? Does it have one on this side? No. This is a windowless shed. Climb in this window here. See what we got around here. So uh, yeah, it's back to basics at the moment. Rain boots. I don't, don't need any of that. Basically a fresh slate. Um, foraging for beginners. We'll, we'll grab that. I think I've already got that. Um, grab that one. I think we've already got some of these books. So I'm not going to stress too much about the books. Magazines I will grab. That as well. I reckon I've already got half those books anyway. Tweezers. Uh, we need to carry a set of tweezers just in case we get glass stuck in our wounds. We don't need any of that stuff. It's good that this area has got a bit of a revamp anyway. Suit pants, dress, so nothing exciting in here. That made me jump. He's got Moldra map. Pretty sure we've got Moldra on the map already. Let's have a zoom out. Oh, no, we don't. Let's read that. We don't have Moldra on there. Now we do. That's that one there. All right, done. All right, we can just uh, get rid of that now. Don't need that. All right, anything exciting in here? No. Not a magazine. All right, what have we got? Electronics. Grab the comic book. Metalwork magazine, we'll grab that as well. Don't really need any of this stuff. Alright, I think. I think we just need to go find a car, I reckon. I think that's our bigger plan. Get a car, get back to where we were. Um and pick up from there. I mean, I don't mind the early stages of the game. I don't mind exploring and Hunting around, seeing what's what. I will go, however, check for food here. Because food, we always need food. Alright, there's no ifs or buts. Shrimps. Okay. We always need food. Grab all this stuff. Nothing in the oven. Alright, let's uh, just create a fruit salad from some of this fruit we just picked up. Cherry and grapefruit. And eat that, will ya? So one thing I noticed lacking from the game is there's no canned fruit. Uh, I've noticed that there's no canned fruit. There's like heaps of canned vegetables and canned meat, but I have never come across any, any canned... Um, Fruit. Uh, let's just put that on our back. Right, let's see if we can find a car. Let's not mess around too much. Um, I don't think I can mark that. I don't think I've got... Yeah, I don't have a pen or pencil, so I can't mark this place off on my map. Right, so there's no... There's a Spiffo's van down here.
Right, we'll have to deal with this guy here. He's trying to get my Spitho's van. You go away. My van. My van, I say. Get your own van. Oh, it's got a key. All right, let's start. We just need fuel. Um, all right, we'll chuck that in our keyring. Spiffo tie. We wear that. <laughs> we need to deal with this person here. And this person here. Right. Nothing exciting on either of you. Right, we need to get a fuel canister. Best spot for fuel canisters. Just want to make sure there's no zombies that are going to sneak up and bite us on the butt. Generally in garages or vehicles. There we go. We've got a few of them. Perfect. I can't grab that one, so my inventory is full already. What else do we have in here? Do we have anything that's usable as a weapon? No? And the lug wrench would be nice. I already got one of those back at the base. Alright, so... We need to find a car that's got fuel. So we've got a key for this. Um, They didn't have fuel in them, did they? They were empty ones, weren't they? Yeah, they're empty gas cans. Come on. Just wake up the neighborhood. Sometimes you can find the canisters with fuel in them. But there is a saw in here which we will grab. We can grab these seeds. Uh, quick. Grab, grab that. I said grab it. Grab the nails. Let's get out of here. Hey, let's go. Right. I'm gonna grab that garbage bag as well. That car's probably not the greatest condition, but we need fuel. Um, I don't see any other cars around here at the moment. We'll grab that red pen. Thank you. We've got to get back to Louisville. <laughs> got to get back to Louisville. Pick up where we left off. Right. Any of you guys got cigarettes? No. Why not? You got a smoke? Get a magazine. Yeah. Looks like we're going to have someone jump out the window. Maybe? Yes? No? I'm going to go back to this van that's in the middle of the road over here and see if that's got any fuel in it. 
Euh, bah, tout ce que... Do it that way with a little bit of speed. No, no fuel. Oh, a couple of visitors. Right, they've both been dealt with. Okay. Where are all the cards? There's a couple of cards over there. Let's see if these have got any fuel. Hmm. Check out this car park. Uh, okay, we've got nothing we need. A cigarette. Need a cigarette. Car parks are quite well. This car, this car looks nice. I like the color. An eraser. I will grab that because that allows to erase stuff off the um off our map. All right. Have you got fuel? No, you do not have fuel. This guy here. I need to deal with him. He's been dealt with. I'm going to grab these ear fuds as well because we can dismantle those. Let's see if this car. This car's got fuel. Alright, cool. Alright, so get the fuel out of this car. We don't see any keys getting around, do we? Let's uh, siphon some more. Oh. Yeah, to get the menu up here for the car, you press V. But a friend of mine asked me about that. And, uh, yeah, you just press V to get that menu up. Um, all right, we need to eat something, so uh, eat all that cheese, will you? No. Let's just, uh, I'm, I'm curious, because I wonder if we'd find a car key around here somewhere. That one's locked. What about you? No key. Nothing in the glove box. Turn that back on. And I think, ooh, electricity for beginners. I will grab that. So the other one's on the other guy at the moment. Um, I'm not going to bother with that stuff at the moment. No, alright, let's work our way back. Back to the van and um, fill it up and head off to back to our other base in Louisville. And see if we can pick up our stuff off of uh, old Dave. This guy's not finding much on his foraging. Nothing. Turn that off then. No, not this house was it the next one, was it? Which one had the car? Where is my car? Dude, where's my car? Got the old spiff mobile. Alright, so this thing's probably a beat up piece of crap, but that's alright. We've got a couple of better cars elsewhere. And uh, yeah, we're going to go 
And gas. Yeah. I didn't check the glove box in this one as well. Right, done. Alright, so let's uh, chuck these two canisters in here. Let's chuck that in there as well. Get rid of some of this weight. It must have been a type of food, wasn't it? Yeah, that's all right. All right we'll shut that. Let's just see what condition this vehicle's in anyway. Oh, it's not that bad. It just looks beat up. All right. All right what was in the glove box? Anything useful? Uh, pen, pencil. Yeah, we'll grab that stuff. All right, so... I do want to mark, uh, where are we on the map? Here we are. All right, so we went into that house there. So we'll just cross that one off. There we go. These ones I'm not going to mark off because we haven't been in any of them. Um, and I will cross that one off as well. There we go. Done. All right, so... Let's go to Louisville. All right, if we can come across a servo, how much shall we for fuel? We're a little bit low. What the hell is that? It's a bush, tree or something. Okay. All right, we need to keep an eye out. Um, we need some cigarettes. Need some ciggies. That's all right. That's all right. We can manage without it at the moment. We just basically got to get to where we left off. Oh, jeez. Zombies everywhere. Now, there is a petrol station right here somewhere. Is that it? No? Where was it? Pharmacy. Hmm. Don't know. There's a lot of zombies around here. Spiffos. Guy with a shotgun on his back. Looks like he wants to come give it to me as well. Um... What's this place here? Oh, a lot, a lot of guys around here. Wiggies, I think this is a dead end. Uh, yep. So, oh my god, so many zombies around. <laughs> Look at them all. Uh, I mean, as the days go by, the population increases, increases, increases. I think this is the way out of town. Are we for fuel? We should have enough fuel to get to where we need to go. Oop. Yep, so here we go. All right, we're on the home straight to Louisville. All right, I'm going to work my way back up to my base. Stop. Uh, yeah, I'll bring you guys back in the next episode, so I'll leave the episode there for now. Um, yeah, we'll pick up once we get back there, or if something exciting happens on the way, we'll pick up from there. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to work my way there. And, uh, yeah, we'll see you guys in the next episode. Oops, let's get back on the road. All right, thanks for watching. See you. Get on the road, you idiot. <laughs>